How to create meta tags for SEO. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, we're going to look at some different meta tags, particularly meta description. Meta description tag goes within the head of an HTML document and it has simply name value pairs, as in name, in this example, it's description, and content is whatever is within the content. It has to be wrapped within quotes. Here is what a perfect meta description looks like. It should be within 150 character space. It should include your keywords at the beginning. You can and should include synonyms of the words that you're targeting. And if the words that you're targeting are highly competitive, then you can and should include them twice, as in mention them twice. But above all else, remember, not only this kind of helps your Google rankings to some degree, despite what anyone says, okay, um, because it is a signal, whether it has a heavy weight, as in important um, weight or not, because none of the SEO elements are important by themselves. They only become important when you incorporate all of them and let them work together. So therefore, meta description are important and you should think of them as to, you know, your ideal customer will see it in Google results page. And if you create the intelligent title as I've shown you in the previous video session, then they will actually stop to read the description as well. So therefore, include some value for your ideal customer to click your website from Google results page. Now, I personally use Microsoft Word for this as well. I simply create two, three different versions because I know I can count the words and I want to stay within 150 character space, okay? Now, I've got my internet browser open and I am in Google Webmaster Help Center here, right? And you can read and learn a little bit more about it as in more in-depth knowledge about it and perhaps even watch the video to understand that it is important for your Google rankings, okay? You may be using some sort of a content management system, perhaps WordPress, which is very popular, right? And by default, you know, it doesn't allow you to create unique meta description for your pages or posts and so on, okay? Depending on the theme, surely. But if it doesn't, then there are many plugins where you can simply plug in to your WordPress site and then, you know, utilize the features that it allows you to, to tweak. Now, remember, most of these plugins, I checked most of them out anyway, okay? They either tell you, you know, they're trying to explain how it works. You actually now know how everything works because of this training course. So, therefore, some of the, you know, um, tweaks that they allow you to make are important some of them are not as we now know the important ones as in meta titles are important meta descriptions are important and canonical URLs are important depending on the the type of online business that you have okay each of your landing pages need to be unique as in have unique description adhering to the principles that we've learned now right as you can see, each page in this training course examples has to have unique description. Okay? Now, even your contact us page, even about us page, even terms and conditions have meta descriptions for them as well. Despite what someone may have told you as to not have them. Okay? You have to have them for each landing page that you want Google to index. Okay? Describe the page while adhering to the best principles. There are a couple of other meta tags that you can utilize and I believe are important. There are many 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 different ones that some people tell you or you should use them and so on okay. You don't need to, don't confuse yourself okay. It's not gonna make much of a difference as in you know including meta tag for copyright information okay. Because there are other ways to accomplish that not in your head section okay don't use things like that but 
perhaps your website is built for uh, different languages okay and using different character encoding if that's the case you can utilize meta tag for that in english websites google recommends encoding utf8 unicode okay so you can use that no problems title is not a meta tag but we know it's important now there is another one here okay which basically says to google okay google you know what i'm running a promotion perhaps it's seasonal i've created five different landing pages for those promotional landing pages but you know what i'm gonna run the promotion for a month or two weeks and so on okay and what i want to tell you is after a certain date that particular landing page will be unavailable so you can use this meta tag for google okay so that's there for you it's available for you to utilize it okay now there is another meta tag called meta keywords okay now <laughs> I can tell you that 99% of the webmaster community, they're confused about how to utilize this. Some of them tell you not to utilize it, some of them tell you to do so, but they actually don't understand how to. Let me show you an example of what I mean. I've written a meta keyword, it's like an article really. It's all text based, like an article, it's unique. Now. Now, I've got Internet Explorer open once again and for you to understand how to utilize that meta keywords I strongly encourage you to watch this particular video session because within it I actually tell you how to use it um, for SEO and rank purposes okay so you can and should utilize meta tags I've also got one more video session particularly designed for website owners who are focusing on um, local SEO so to speak okay so if you've got a local business there are actually a couple of additional meta tags that you can utilize okay for geolocation and I strongly encourage you to watch this particular video session not only to see how to use those meta tags but also all the other information that is important for your local keyword rankings for your local business and one more thing before we close this video session now we know from the previous video session that we can utilize web developer toolbar in Firefox right and as I've shown you when we were creating our title we could tweak the result set right and as you can see here that's what I've done not only for the title but the URL to, to demonstrate how you should do it and I've also included my meta description here now the reason for this is because there are many tools available perhaps to see how your um, search snippets will look in Google results set right but none of them come close to this particular procedure because when you search for the keywords of importance okay in your industry surely okay, then the result set will be related to those keywords right and then you know tweaking the result set and including yours to see how it looks is actually much better because you actually see it exactly how it's gonna look amongst all the others targeting the same keywords so therefore you can actually get a more of a feel of your um, title and description and so on so you can see exactly how it's gonna look instead of doing it by itself through other tools and so on okay so I strongly encourage you to to tweak the result set and include your details before you upload your landing pages and so on okay because as you can see you know now you can see how it looks perhaps you're not happy and then you can change it and so on okay so now we know all we need to know about meta keywords of importance for us the rest don't worry about it so i thank you very much for learning with me let's continue learning thank you